help, it did the tiny text thing again. I don't know why it does that. Also, I'm a bit late. Hello! Hi Dukul, thank you for the host. Hope you're doing well. Happy Wednesday morning for you, I assume? Today we're doing placements. Also, I've already purchased this skin. <laughs> I am going to invite people as they come online. And then we're going to be talking about stuff. Because I learned something today and it's blown my mind. <laughs> Okay, Jets is multitasking. Fair enough. Sonic has launched. Still a great song. What are you looking at, Jesse? Hello. Have I completely blown your mind? Bruh, like, I didn't know that was a thing and I just tried it again. And, yeah, no, I can't see shit. <laughs> I know! Like, I like I would say I'm a solid, like, 0.5. Because I can... That's that's where I put myself as well. I guess it, I guess it would be a generalized, s slightly not black shape is about the best. Okay, so you can do shapes. No, 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 I mean... All it is, is like, you know when you close your eyes and you see those kind of shapes around? Yes. Pretty much that, like one of those, takes a little bit more form. That's about as far as I can get. Yeah, so 0.5 is probably where I'd put you as well. Yeah, if anything, it's a lot closer to what she mentioned, where I'm more just... Not visually, not seeing, but like mentally... Uh, like mentally picturing... Putting pieces together. Yeah, information. I know of. Like, I mm -hmm. can't actually see it, but I can put it together in my head because, like, it's an apple. I know what an apple looks like. It's red. I know what red is. Yes, but you can't see red. And that is the part that blows my mind. Yeah, like, I... Yeah, because... I can't I see red. Ever... I'm I'm yeah, like... purely where you are as well. Yeah, like, I... You... For those watching, we're talking about Avantasia. Like... The inability yeah. to see something visually in your mind. Yeah, like, um, yeah, I didn't realize that that was a thing, because, like, I used to get it a lot when I was reading books, like, you know, when I first read the, through the Harry Potter series, and when I was reading through these Kylie Chan books a couple of years ago, like, I can't really, you know, read these things and then make this mental image in my mind of the world and everything that's happening, and I thought that that was just a thing. Mm -hmm. I thought people were a little bit better with their, you know, a little bit better of actually just making words look into things. I didn't realize that... They were actually like yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up my Goodreads profile because this this is gonna be a part of what I talk about in in this aspect because this this has been like on the forefront of my mind for the past seven hours. The moment I learned about this, even at work, it has been distracting me. I've I've still been able to do stuff productively at work, which is great, multitasking, but. Mm. My mind was constantly going, what the hell? I'm glad I didn't watch this at work, otherwise I would have had nothing else on my mind. <laughs> yeah, right? Hi. Hello. Uh, hello. Okay, so... Uh, I, I have... 180 books marked as read on Goodreads. Mostly fantasy. So as someone who read lots of books as a teenager, the fact that I can't visualize things in my head 
I feel like I've missed out on so much. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> It was really interesting to watch because while well, I was watching it, I'm like, people can't? And my brother is the same. I just spent the past half hour talking... No, actually, the past hour talking to him about how I literally see nothing. And he's like, what about this? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> the mind is very strange. Like, dude, when I say nothing, I mean nothing, like... <laughs> oh, and I've tried. I've spent hours, you know... There are meditations, there are, you know, audiobooks, and... Um, all sorts of these little things you can listen to that are designed to kind of... Even ASMR. Like, I, I don't get the... The, the back-of-the-neck thing the from tingles. it. The tingles. The tingles. The only occasional thing I get from ASMR, just because I've experimented with it enough, because... I don't get this either, right? Of, you know, visually picturing things. But um, one thing that I do occasionally get is almost like a breath on my face. But other than that, nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a spin out to realize that that's actually a thing. Like... Yeah. <laughs> so the, the once I learned about it, there have been like points that I've noticed over over the past six hours where I've gone that's why that happened, that's why that worked out the way it did so one example yeah, is <laughs> during uh, high school I read a lot of books right, and the thing with books at school is you would borrow a book for up to two weeks and if you needed to borrow it longer from the library then you could literally go there and get it scanned again and you know you're on your way. Most books including Harry Potter I finished within days. The one book that I've never finished that I got maybe a quarter a quarter of the way through is the first Lord of the Rings book. And based on what I've learned today, it's because that book describes everything in intricate detail. You get like multiple pages describing a certain room, for example. Yeah, and, and when you To me, actually... that is a series of words that I couldn't visualize. And to me, it was just noise. It was words on a page, one after the other. Mm. So I couldn't finish the book because it was so boring. Whereas for someone who can visualize it, like Jats or Curious, they'd be able to actually use the information on the page to literally paint a picture in their minds. And that completely blows my mind. Yeah, like, I've heard the, like, you know, everyone knows the expression, you know, you know, I read this in, you know, you're painting a picture in your mind, and, like, I thought that that was just an expression. Like, I didn't realize... Or, you know, imagine yourself on a beach. Thing. Yep. See, that... Okay, yeah, no, I can't actually even do that one. I have to pull references from... No, I, I can't do that either. It's nuts. Or, like, another good one I, um... Oh, no, we lost Curious. Uh -huh. I guess she didn't stay connected long enough? What I happened? Know. I don't know. That was weird. She's still in the group, so she timed out. Um, so another example I saw... Nah, no, that's not for another couple of hours. Um, another example I saw on a TED Talk is if you read a book and then watch the movie, some people will go, that's not how I imagined Ron, for example, from Harry Potter. For me, it's, oh, so that's how he looks. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I got. That's too. what those words mean when they're put together. Like, yeah, like I, yes. I just took the, I just took like Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and everything as they actually look. Yes. Other than a few straight things, like her having the bushy hair, which she really only had for like the first movie and a half. Yeah, they never, they, hair, they, they never like, did the the bushy hair for her though. Whereas. Yeah, like, bushy hair is bushy hair, and that was just because she didn't really like it. <laughs> it, it might not have suited her as well. But the thing That's that really bad for you because you guys love like critical roles. So when they're going through that, I know you're not yeah. in there with them. I know. No. There are so many aspects of my life where I'm like, I'm missing out on so much. Yeah, like, that's why it throws me off when I see all this fan art of people drawing their characters. I'm just like, wait, where did you get, like, how did you do that? 
Well, sure, they described it once or twice, and they do describe it throughout. But for us, we can't develop a mental picture of it. Yeah. Like, even if I'm now imagining something from, from that, I'm going based on memory. I might have seen fan art of that character, and I know what it looks yeah. like for someone to do something. So I can put the words together to kind of thread a story, but I can't actually physically, visually see those actions occurring, whereas some yeah. people can. <laughs> so strange. <coughs> Sucks you guys were never able to visualize anime battles in your mind. <laughs> I mean... Nah. That no. Was, that was what I did in high school when people were being mean to me. I'd be like, ooh, I could deck you in anime. <laughs> <laughs> What's that so <laughs> I have the power of God and anime. <laughs> That's a reference. Oh, jeez. Speaking of art, your art's been like crazy good this period. Ready for more. Every time I see it, I'm like, ah. Hi, Curdle Stuff. Ooh. Thank you. How you doing? Long time no see. Here it comes. Come on. Oh, jeez. No, Roadhog, go away. Ah. I shouldn't have gone up so close. That's all right. I love that I'm still in the group, yet I don't see anything. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to restart my game after this anyway. My frame rate is all over the place. I'm like so stuck we'll... on the menu screen. Yeah, you timed out or something while we were connecting. It was weird. You kind of joined the game and then left the game. I. Oh. Uh, yep, Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, uh, Periscope, and Steam. And Facebook, I guess. But... I don't know how I want to play in competitive. Someone. On the train, I actually figured out that the way I quote-unquote visualize stuff in my mind is more based on movement than anything. So I can kind of thread together the... <laughs> I did it. Um, I, I can thread together the actions that occur for something. Uh, Dylan, thanks for the host. Or is, is it marked as a raid? I don't know. Restream doesn't tell me and neither does Muxy. <laughs> I blame Colin. I uh, put in the chat. I don't know. Let's pull it up. Yeah, you raided twice, Dylan. Once 20 seconds ago and once two seconds ago. But welcome. Welcome, raiders. Hope you enjoyed Rocket League. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sonic. Don't worry, I'll keep him alive. Or at least I'll try. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm gonna die. No, go away! Oh, there was a McCree. McCree was behind us. We've only just started. I'm really hungry. Same. You mean you haven't already eaten? No. I got home and I'm like, I need to get home to before I like fuck off. So I'm just yeah. sitting here. Fair. That's alright, Sonic. Just hop on point. Go away. 
Oh, there's a widow. Oh, there's a widow. Yeah, Frame rate's a bit wonky. Like I need to tweak volumes further. Uh, yeah, as far as I know, Dylan, it just passes on whatever it receives. I, I do want to get my caption set up to use OBS WebSocket and Web Captioner, but Web Captioner doesn't use WebSockets yet. It's still just hard coded onto the screen. So I'm waiting until that dev has time to do that. Uh, Sonic, we need to get on point. Working on it. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Neither is chat. Oh, I got burped. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Bloody the first man. game is always rough. I mean, that one was just completely one-sided. Yeah. His Widow was pretty bullshit, too. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to quickly restart my game. Rattle. And then we'll do more warm-ups. So, Dylan. I've now been messaging a bunch of people about Aphantasia. And I spoke to my dad and brother, had a conversation about an hour. My dad, on a scale of one to of zero to ten of whether he can visualize things, zero or one. My brother, seven or an eight. Um chats and curious. Six or seven. Sonic, like me, zero to zero point five. <laughs> So I'm not alone! It's you guys! Welcome back. Thank you. <gasps> yes, I'm actually loading into the game. Yep, so Dylan puts himself somewhere between 7 and 10, and based on the descriptions he's given me, I, I would definitely put him closer to 10. I, I would assume that it depends on what you're visualizing in what situation, and like whether you're reading, for example, or whether you're just closing your eyes and thinking. Or in his case, not even closing his eyes. I mean, I could probably sit down for half an hour and strain my mind to try and do something and I'll just end up with a black slate. Yep. I mean, sometimes I'm just like sitting there staring at a wall and I just black out completely imagining shit. Visualizing. I feel like I'm missing out on so much. <laughs> I mean, that's why I've, that's why I've always preferred, you know, like, you know, how, back to the Harry Potter thing, you know, how a lot of people were upset about Harry Potter, but I've always preferred watching the movies over reading the books, I guess, because of this now. Like, that's why, because I've... I, I'd assume it's part of it. Personally, I, I love reading the like, books yeah, the because books there's good. a lot more in it. So there are characters in there that are never even mentioned in the movies, where, sure. where I'd like to see them in the movies. But I don't particularly have a preference as to... You know, because one of them I can visually see, the other one I cannot. Yeah. Uh, usually if I do books, I do audio books. What else? Where is this? Oh, the ash is up there. Okay. No, oh, jeez. Um. Careful, Sonic. Who's that down there? No! Oh! Really? We ended up with the same fucking group again? Or at least the same Wither? Oh no. Oh no, we lost Jats too! This is not, the end of the world. This is not a good sign! Also, what yeah, server yeah. are we connected to? Oh, LAX! That would explain it. Why are we on... LA what? I only yeah, just it's... noticed my ping now. Yeah, honest. it's been unstable oh, like this yeah. since uh, Saturday. I'm still getting weird frame drops though. I'll well, have to. I had that one I was playing with Ari last time. Yeah, um. We have Reaper behind. Oh, no wonder! This explains why my charges haven't been working properly. 
Well, yeah, because they got to be pretty well fine. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Not literally, but I see. <laughs> I'm back, sorry. Welcome oh, back. No. So, you're in here. You never left the group, but you're no longer in the game. So, um... Me? Yeah. Yeah. It says I'm in the group. Yeah. I know, you're in the group, we can hear you. But you're not in the, the game itself, which is what happened to Curious oh. just before. Do I leave group? Uh, I... I mean, you could. I don't know if it would work. Oh no, I missed. That widow is fucking me. This widow is bullshit. <laughs> Cuddle stuff. He's... He says, I see. Isn't that obvious? You always look up and read chat. One of the other examples I gave my brother is that one of the things I've been looking at is, you know, if I were to move out, what kind of house would I go for, right? And you know how some people say, oh, you know, imagine your dream home. I got nothing. I need to actually look at houses to go, yes, that one. That's what I'm like as well. I'm glad I'm not alone in this, though. That that helps. <laughs> uh, Reaper's still on the point. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he killed me. Fuck him. I hate Reaper. Okay, They fine. buffed him too much. No, it's just very difficult with every hero to 1v1. Uh, good night, Curdle Stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Good night. Oh no. Run away! I'm gonna try and find my phone. <clears throat> While you guys are playing. Good plan. Alright. It's so hard to hit stuff. Get that Reaper flanking again. Y yeah, Dylan, my brother explained something similar. Where... Um... You can sometimes have too much going on visually in your head, which makes it hard to concentrate or to sleep, for example. And again, that concept oh, yeah. is completely really foreign to me. Oh god, I'm so dead. Like, I couldn't sleep last night because I had the whole Rock of Ages musical fucking playing itself in my head. This is not the end of the world. But the other thing I also have, um, you know, when she was the descri des uh, describing her dream, like she dreams very vividly, but when she wakes up, she can't actually visualize any of it, but you can talk about it. Yeah, that's pretty common, though. Yeah, okay, then. Because, yeah, I've got um, I, yeah, I, I was reading a lot of comments on Reddit about the topic, and there are a lot of people who are like, yeah, I have a similar thing with dreams, and for the most part, as far as I can tell, not remembering dreams is common. Um, vividly remembering them is not, but it's a thing that does happen. I mean, I know someone who has, like, full will and control over their dreams and anything that happens in them. Yeah, lucid like, dreaming is a they, thing that I've wanted to experiment with as well, but I... Like they, that was never an extension of thinking or visualizing in my head. It was a completely yeah. separate concept. Yeah. And no, this is just since we're on the topic of dreams. Yeah, no, she can, um... She can do whatever the hell she wants in dreams. She can rewind them, completely change it to something yeah. different, restart them. It bloody. <coughs> like, I've I've wanted to try I lucid dreaming. Control. My dreams are like, I know that they're dreams. I'm like sitting there watching them. I don't have any yeah. control, but I know yeah. that they're not real. Yeah. See, Dylan, I can't see them in my head. To me, they're almost like memories in the dark. I 
Okay, so let's hope that when we actually start playing comp, that we won't be on the LA server, and we won't um, keep dropping out as as two people in our group have done so far. Hmm. Uh, welcome, uh, Lime Die. Hope your day's going well. Yeah, I, I would assume so too. I, up until this point, I thought I was to some extent visualizing things while trying to fall asleep. But actually, looking back on it now, and actually thinking about the way I do it, I'm not even imagining things. I'm only doing the word aspect, the conversational bits. I'm basically putting words for one person and the other. Kind of like script writing rather than actually drawing pictures. Oh, hi, Panda. Happy Wednesday. It's too early for you, isn't it? I guess that also explains why it sometimes takes me up to an hour to fall asleep. Still on bloody LAX. That's not a good sign. Nope. <laughs> yeah, Panda, seven hours for a migration script is definitely wrong. Sounds like it's stuck or someone forgot their primary keys. Oh no, that's right, you were on call as- oh no! Oh no! RIP. Hey Dylan, I don't drink coffee. Though maybe having tea at 6 or 7pm doesn't help? I don't know. I know part of it is that, um... Part of it for me is that I'm in front of a screen most of the time I'm awake, so my brain probably has issues figuring out when to sleep. But on top of that, not being able to count sheep. I mean, I can count them, I just can't see what I'm counting. <laughs> yeah, you can count numbers because you know what the numbers are. You can think the numbers, but you can't see sheep. Yeah, exactly. The point is mine, and you can't have it. Get but yeah, Panda, I've I've had long running uh, migration scripts like that before, and I usually give up after like three hours because it usually means it's frozen or I've gotten something wrong somewhere, and I need to redo the script. Frame rate's still a little wonky. I mean, sitting at 100% CPU usage doesn't always mean it's running. <laughs> Could be stuck in a loop somewhere. There was one point somewhere where, we, where in our code we had a loop within a loop within a loop and it was getting stuck. You missed- WHAT?! Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's the thing, Dylan. To me, imagining oh, yet, was a theoretical concept rather than a actual visual. So, to me, imagining was, looking back on it now, more about the words and the actions themselves rather than seeing those actions in play. Oh god. I shouldn't have altered. Immediate regret! Oh no! Realize. Oh jeez, Panda. 
I don't know, Dylan, and I'm very happy I survived that. Um, Panda, what? What's your database? What tech is your database running? I mean, Panda's probably dead on her feet. If she's even standing. It's like impossible to run away from that. Yeah, Panda, my experience with Django uh, and Postgres have been exactly the same. Um, originally, our data was... So, I'll, I'll give you a quick backstory behind ours. Um, our data is uh, time-based and numeric. That wasn't the plan. Uh, a bit of both, Dylan. At no point did actual visuals occur. Um, so, because we're working with um, gas and water usage over time, hourly readings, or in the case of one client, 15 minute readings that get sent to the server every 12 to 24 hours. Um, originally, we started by having that data in... Um, not Postgres, what was the other one? Um, the number uh, number based one. <laughs> well, the time based one. Um, I don't remember. Anyway, we moved everything to Postgres because in Postgres we're able to do stuff like, oh, you know, this device is assigned to this customer in this device group and so on and so forth. But because of that, um, API calls tend to be much slower because it's not time based. Oh, I should have put my shield up. No place to go but up. Walk it off. Oh, we're actually capping it. I believe in you. I, I do actually believe in you. Chat, stay alive! Oh no. Ah, uh, my mech, my mech. <coughs> so hard to play on no. this thing. Yeah, and my frame rate keep dipping and I'm not entirely sure why. Oh my god, Sonic. For a moment there, I saved your life. I was I was through the doorway. Not on my screen. No, I know because of the fucking ping. Like, that hook shouldn't have gotten me either because I have my fucking shield up, but ping. Yeah, no, this thing's gonna be like this. No way am I gonna keep trying to play on this thing. Oh no! I got charged. Of course I'm the first one to die in each of these fights. What does that tell you about my playstyle? <laughs> well, exactly, Dylan. I think that's why I sucked so much in creative writing, especially in high school. Because I literally couldn't visualize these things. I thought I was visualizing them, but no, I was just putting words together. And even then, poorly. Because <laughs> my writing skills in general are pretty bad. And on top of that, it completely changes the idea of an imaginary friend as a kid. Because you have some people who literally imagine a person.
it's gonna take me a few days to properly wrap my head around this. Yeah. And that also explains the whole, you know, visual learner thing. Because I will say, I do have friends... So, um, there's a new VR game out by the people who made Job Simulator called Vacation Simulator. And one of the things you can do in that game is build sandcastles. Um, where it has a 2D map of the top, the front, and the right. Um, and what you have to do is put the pieces of sand together, like the little cubes, um, in that shape, and then pull the lever to kind of confirm that's what you've made. And... For me, I can't visualize how it'll look, but I can assume which pieces go where, and for me, the task of going that 2D picture that I'm looking at translates to these locations here, I can do that, but only because it's visually in front of me. Whereas there were certain friends who were literally in VR, and I was looking at the screen while someone else was playing the game. Whereas the people in the VR game, one friend especially, absolutely struggled with it. Um, and Dylan, I did read a little bit about it. Um, there was a Reddit post talking about it, and then my brother asked about whether I'm aware of it, and then I actually googled the proper description for it, and turns out he only knew one aspect of it. So yes, as of today, I have heard of it. I'm now at 6,100 credits, by the way. Just Buy something, for fuck's sake. No, uh, no it was, I'm waiting for the next event, or the next uh, hero, whoever it may oh, be. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, credit. Sorry, I thought you meant comp points. Uh, comp points is a whole other ball game. Just buy something, goddammit. <laughs> uh, actually, that's not what I meant to do. I need to go details... So, Jats, did you end up finding your phone? Oh, yeah. That's good. I'm just crying about how much money I had to spend on Rego. Hmm. And that is one reason I'm glad I do not own a car. <sighs> and that I can take a train and bus to That's work. Hmm. I mean, obviously, I hate waking up before 7 in the morning to get to work at 9, but yeah, I can deal yuck. with it. <laughs> Compared to the money I'm very slowly saving towards buying a place of my own eventually. Mm. I'm just looking at houses as well. I, I, I've i looked a couple times. There were some really nice ones that I saw. Um, there was one double story one that I saw that was really good. Except the only issue I would run into with it is if I paid the amount of money I have at the moment. Like, they're, they're recommended. Here's how much you pay... Um, now for the initial part and then the rest of it is over time um yeah if i paid the recommended for that i would immediately be broke <laughs> <laughs> i know that's the sucky thing it's so easy to afford the payments but but as soon as they asked for like 20 20 000 <laughs> so two, the, the, yeah. the deposit's always the hard part Mm-hmm. Hence why a lot of people get a loan for the deposit. You get a loan for the deposit so you can get a loan. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, I, I can understand that, Panda. I'm incredibly lucky that um, my parents don't particularly uh, care if I live here. <laughs> I guess is the way to put it. Um, I mean, I'm... The thing for me is, it would be a waste of money for me to pay for a place anyway, because I'm not there 90% of the time anyway. That's not going to change. I know. Like, that's just life. <laughs> Correct. But it's in the meantime, stupid. I can save up money to use later. Fair enough. But like, yeah, um, to answer your question, Dylan, I've always seen... Artists who can do that kind of stuff as a... Let, let's call it a completely different frame of mind. 
um, a different way of thinking. I didn't actually realize it was so fundamental as they can literally visualize things, whereas I can't. It wasn't that low level to me. Um, Alright, let's try another game. Yeah, Panda, I, I don't like the idea of... So, I'm, I'm basically stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because I don't like the idea of renting, because it's basically a waste of money. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I don't want to buy a house, because houses are expensive. Um, the house across the road from us last year uh, sold for $750,000. Yeah, because you're in Melbourne, though. Well, I'm, I'm also 45 minutes out of the city. So it's not like I live, you know, in the centre. I'm a I'll fair way that. out. I'm, you know, and still 750,000. The place is still around here. Go for about 600 to 650. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at that ping. Oh, yes. Also, also, I kind of, I, like, I'm glad that Curious is on the same level that I'm at, like Panda. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I do? No, Panda uh, says, I'll be renting either until I'm dead or until I get married. <laughs> Wh whichever comes first. <coughs> which in, which I know for me personally is probably when I'm dead. Oh no. So we lost, why the... I've Bye, Curious! Wait, I feel no, so you're probably still in the group. No, you're still in the group, it just kicked you from the game for no reason. What the fuck? I'm gonna just... So if all four of us are there, we get a we get a US server. But if we get an Aussie server, one person gets kicked. Which is why I assume it keeps sending people to the US because the servers in Australia are crashing so often that it just goes. I'm going to send them over there because there are no servers in the process of currently being available for me to put players on. Yeah. You'd think after three years they would have the shit better than this. Yes, <laughs> good one. Um, Dylan, that is that is something I've considered. Um, I have one friend who bought a place a couple suburbs away, and he um, is planning on renting out one of his rooms, and he did say, hey, if you want to live with me, um, you're welcome to. Obviously, I would have to pay rent, but that's fine, even if he owns the place. Um, but... And, and then another couple of friends who recently got married um, are currently renting a place. And they also need roommates. So they were like, hey, you know, come come live with us for a bit. And the benefit hey, of there's, theirs... There's nothing wrong with roommates. Yes, but here's... <laughs> I, I, I was going to elaborate on that, Jats. Because you do get situations <laughs> like what you have. Like, yeah. roommates are good so long as they're people that you can deal with, but the problem is is that you don't know if you can deal living with someone until you're actually living with them. And Sonic, you've hit the nail right on the head there. Because, in this particular example, the friends who um, are renting a place, they moved in with a friend who um, is seemingly not a good roommate. Yeah. I would say we shouldn't do placements today. That is the vibe I'm getting from these servers. But, as I was saying, um, one thing that, um, so they, they originally moved in with another couple, and then after moving in, that couple broke up, and the girl left while the guy stayed with them, which... He knew he was going to break up with her before he moved in. So, like, firstly, that's an asshole move. Um, yeah. And secondly, after he broke up with her, he's a crap roommate. Whereas, a couple other friends... Because um, uh, I had the place to myself uh, for a couple weeks during June, because my parents and brother were in the US. And I had a couple friends come over a couple uh, the, the day before um, everyone else was supposed to. Um, for my birthday party, so that we could, you know, prep things and all of that. And what ended up happening was I realized those two would make very good roommates, because one of them um, was very happy to help with um, certain gardening that um, 
we came up with, because my mum does not uh, take care of the front garden, let's say. Um, and the other friend did the dishes more than once without me prompting anything. Just, you know, I, I took a shower, I came back, and all the dishes were done. And this is, you know, neither of them li live with me. They were visiting, and still. So, <laughs> that's what I learned. But yeah, so that that's definitely part of why I haven't moved out to live with friends yet, because I don't know what it would be like. Yeah, well, so here's the other thing. What I learned uh, in June is that I would hate to live by myself in a big empty house. Like, I, it would take me even longer to fall asleep because my mind was constantly going, what was that noise? Like, it wasn't that I was scared, it was more a curiosity of going, I wonder. <laughs> Well, that's that's the other thing, Dylan. Um, when when the first friend asked if I'd like to rent a room in his house, one thing that crossed my mum, uh, my mind, I just read one <laughs> word from chat, and it replaced what was in my head. Um, one thing that really crossed my mind was because I've never lived on my own. I'm still, in a lot of ways, dependent on my parents and my brother. And so that would probably be detrimental if I immediately moved in with friends. Because there would be certain expectations that I wouldn't be fulfilling. Because I'm simply not used to fulfilling them. So one of the responses I gave when I was like, I, I'd rather not move in is, I'd like to spend some time by myself. Which, as I've now learned, I don't want to do. So I'm kind of stuck between a rock, a hard place, and a void. No place no. To go but up. I'll quite happily live by myself. Uh, yeah. Um, Panda, I've just caught up on your uh, example message. Yes. Um, that is definitely one of the downsides of owning a place, is maintaining it. Um, I already struggle enough to maintain my desk the rest of my bedroom and my closet that I would hate to see how I would maintain an entire house on my own. Mm. Yeah, these, these are things... And again, part of it is, now that I've learned, is there are so many aspects of this whole visualization thing that would help in the aspect of, well, how should I organize my room? I don't know. That is the second time I've had a frame, a frame perfect interrupt on my fucking ult. Yeah, favor the shooter is like that. <laughs> uh, the first, yep. well, first one was a fucking hook and that one was the EMP. God damn it. Dylan, my room isn't big enough to move things to be able to do something like that. I, I can maybe shift my bed half a meter in a direction. That's about it. Oh, no. <laughs> because other than that, this is my closet. Uh, this right here is the halfway point of my room. Practice makes perfect. Of course I got Not a fucking Hey, we got to 99.99. That's not bad. Yeah, my, my room's tiny and full of stuff. There was one point where I was considering getting a mini fridge uh, for, for drinks and stuff, which I now own a snack drawer, which is... Yeah, the whole yeah. fridge thing is definitely something I'm going to do. I've, I've got no space for a mini fridge. <laughs> That's the point that I've reached in my room. I don't have space for a mini fridge. I would have a space. I would have space for a lot of things, if my room was clean. Mm. Yeah, but that also means it hasn't been right. for years. <laughs> the 
job in itself. Uh, that's that's fair enough, Panda. Um, I I can understand living alone long enough to hate moving in with family because one of the reasons we live with family is because they're family, not because we like them. Now I'm not saying I don't like my family, but as with any family, there are points where you're like, I just want to be left alone. And my my parents at least respect my personal space, which is really nice. So if I'm streaming, they will notice I'm streaming and just not interrupt, which is awesome. I'm kind of glad I moved all the way that I did. Like, as much as I would like to save money, it was a big, yeah. like, confidence thing for me. Yeah. It's just got its good and its bads. <laughs> yeah, it's Main bad being money. Oh, fuck off! Oh, I'm doing badly. I might have to stop playing Brigida with my dodgy frame rate today. I uh, see, Panda, that's that's my brother. He's bad with dishes. Yeah, I... Sometimes I'll do mini protests and not do anything. Yeah, that's uh, much like my brother. I... I know I'm quite lazy about... Time. Oh, they're really taking up space on the point. Oh, no! I... <laughs> oh, no, Dylan's going on a rant. What? Nobody mentioned dishes! <laughs> there was no mention of dishes. <laughs> Don't worry, Dylan, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Chats! <laughs> they were on the roof. Also, I just noticed the Hammond thing. That's pretty brilliant, to be honest. Ham God, up where? Uh, I just got my ult too. Okay, what if I minimize something? Will that help? Will that really truly really help? That wasn't the plan. Nope, I still dropped to fifty. Um Alright, let me quickly Pull us to the main menu. I'm going to change the stream title because it is no longer I need accurate. To... I need to stop the oven. All right. You get your pizza. Yeah, I'm going to bail for a second. It's smart. So yeah, I've literally spent the past few hours of just talking to friends who either have aphantasia or don't. And it's really interesting how each of us understand thought as a concept. Now I don't think... Gonna have to Google this. We all have something, Dylan. It's fine. Oh, interesting. That's weird. Facebook is telling me I'm streaming at 29 FPS.
Definitely not placements. What did I rename it to? Chilling with friends. Which says 2829? That's not good. Here's what I can tell you. Here. Definitely solid 30 on my end. Yeah, I, I don't really have any of those triggers, Dylan. Um, I have noticed occasionally that um, people yelling will, like, that's uncomfortable to me. But I guess that is common sense. Um, Alright, we, we lost Sonic for a bit. Um, what I might do is I might lower some game settings to see if that helps. Yeah, okay. Uh, it it burnt and I could smell it burning from <laughs> from in here. Well, it's a good thing you went to check it when you did. Did Sonic leave? Uh, yeah, he went for a smoke. Ah, okay. <coughs> That's really interesting, Dylan. Funny how the mind works. I've... there's one weird thing in the office at work uh, that I have noticed, where... If I'm facing certain angles, I can literally hear my voice reflect off the ceiling and the wall at the other end of the room. And I tested this out with a colleague, and they couldn't hear what I could hear. Ooh. Hello, did you need the distraction? I figured I'm up anyway, and yeah. Fair enough. Welcome to Oasis. Oh, my brother messaged me. What did he say? <laughs> oh, no. I can see the first part of the message. He says, can you visualize me getting some cheese balls from you? Uh-oh. I ate all of the cheese balls. <laughs> He's going to hate me for that one. Oh. Um, I might actually go Moira. God damn it. Failed to connect I'll the get server. Him. I'll get him the so twisties fun. instead. Oh, no. Who'd we lose? Oh, really? Yeah, I. that's not the first time it's happened tonight. I'm just gonna... It just seems we lose one I person every single time. I feel like it's always me. Uh, it is 4.30 in the morning. I hate my life. Sounds like a fun time. He thought about it and then accepted the twisties. I call that a success. Now entering the temple of Anubis. I believe I'm missing some context here, so... <laughs> um, my brother messaged me asking for uh, cheese balls. I unfortunately already ate the cheese balls. So I provided him with uh, twisties instead. He wanted snacks. What exactly is a twisty? Oh, Bruh. if you ever visit Australia, I will show you. Um, there are cheese snacks. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I hate them so much. They're nasty. Okay, Excuse what if we try? Me? What if we try arcade? Um, let's see what happens. Don't like twist. 
twisties. How can you not like twisties? It's just a cheese ball, but not quite a cheese ball. I don't like cheese balls either, bitch. Wait, so is it like a Cheeto? Uh, no, more solid than a Cheeto, I guess? So, like, cheesies. Maybe? I'm quickly uh, pulling no, up no, images. No, the fuck is a really cheesy? The... Yes. Yeah. Very much like cheesies. Cheetos are a lot better in every way. Looking at a picture of cheesies, very much like cheesies. Okay. Cheesies are pretty good. Slightly less orange, though. <laughs> Because it seems North America, um, and Canada seem to really enjoy their, like, fluorescent yellow and orange for cheese. Yeah, I blame that one on America. Mm-hmm. Oh, wrong button. I meant to hit this one. <laughs> They're the ones that have aerosol cheese, so, you know. That sounds really frustrating, Dylan. I don't get particular about washing, partly because I know that the dishwasher will do the rest of the job. For me, it's more about rinsing it enough that nothing's stuck to it. I guess curious. No, she actually closed the... Uh, what? Hang on. Yeah, as I said, I is curious. But why? Her internet doesn't disconnect for another half hour. Oh, that's curious fact. God, I think I need to buy a new keyboard. Yeah, Dylan, it depends on what it is for me. Welcome back. So, yep. Yeah. Overwatch servers suck today, or as since Saturday. I've literally never seen them this bad. I have. Oh, I've seen them pretty bad. Also, I should not talk because it, I'm scratchy as hell. Yeah, that'll happen. That's fine. Uh, Dylan, one thing that I cannot handle when it comes to washing dishes is the remains of spaghetti. That that's one thing that really grosses me out when it comes to cleaning dishes. But that's like the no only idea. thing. I'm sure there's some form of scientific reasoning. Scientific reason for what, sorry? When you get like scratchy voice when you're really tired. Um, yeah, there's probably a reason for it. So have you it's slept to do with your vocal cords becoming stiff. Well, there you go. Fair enough. Was that a quick yeah. Google search, or did you just have that piece of trivia? I just have the piece of trivia. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it could be either. <laughs> yeah, Pender, have you slept at all? Um, I mean, I have. There was probably a nap in somewhere. Increments. Yeah. Like yes. I set an alarm for myself to make sure I didn't like. Stay asleep too long, yeah. Yeah. Or exactly. get too deep into sleep. But yeah. And that is why I'll never, never be DevOps. I'm happy being front end and only working within the time limit. And the thing is, I still have to work. I guess technically today, because I really haven't done anything. Like, I've just been waiting for a disaster, essentially. Mm. Yeah. Dylan, I think that's every roommate ever. But the thing is, most people don't know what their own caveats are until they're in that situation and someone else goes, Dude. You need to not do this thing. 
I've never had a roommate, and I'm very glad I've never had a roommate. Neither I have I. Lived by, I haven't lived by myself, Technically. and I want to. It's it's glorious. Like the, the best freedom I've done, is amazing. Yeah, the best I had was a week and a half when my brother and his partner were over in Queensland for a wedding, and. For me personally, that was the most blissful week in my fucking life. And then they came home, and I'm like, oh god, no, no. Yep. It's it's fantastic. The only thing I don't like is having to pay for everything myself. Uh, I mean, I mean you can I, find, I like, mean... affordable options, usually. Yeah, I mean, I could just go find a fucking studio apartment somewhere, pay, like, 150 bucks a week in rent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would definitely help, Dylan. And I assume that you've lived together before I mean, the when place younger. I lived at before was so you'd know certain aspects. Awful. Yeah, it, there you go. <laughs> so until I like got into DevOps and got a raise, I, I was living in a very crappy apartment. Yeah, fair enough. And now you've just got windows everywhere. <laughs> yep, and air conditioning. Oh, in Canada, blasphemy. Okay, come on. Six minutes for, I guess, with a five stack, finding a sixth is a slow process. I, I would try uh, Mystery Heroes. It's probably easier. Yeah, I'm going to do that if it hits the seven minute mark. Yeah, fair. Oh, you could go Turtle Mayhem. <laughs> Turtle Mayhem. Sorry, I didn't hear that, and I never will. <laughs> didn't think so. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I've almost been tempted to move states again and just find a place by myself. Just Well, you're welcome to visit Melbourne. Just for no particular reason. But the problem with that is is that I would need a place to set myself for a little bit while I'm finding a job. Well, yeah. Even, even that is one of the challenges of moving. There, and even then moving over there and having a place to set while I'm organizing, like starting the job. Uh, it's too much effort. Like, I couldn't just move to like Adelaide because I know nobody there. I don't I'm just like I'd have to save too much money to be able to get a place and then Holy yeah, crap. So PSE one is supposed to be a Sydney server, isn't it? I have no idea, to be honest. Because I'm getting four hundred ping. Oh, I'm getting two hundred. I'm at like two fifty. I've got 220. I wonder if this is like a year. Uh, yes, they can, Dylan, and that is why. Oh, no, apparently Jess has got the good things, somehow. That's a bit on. Yeah, well, she. I mean, maybe. Technically closest ish to, to Sydney. I'm gonna die. Like, I have high ping, but it doesn't feel like it's high ping. Oh, I feel the 400 milliseconds. Ah, uh, you guys are taking the, the rest of us. Only through conflict, <sighs> you can actually visually see it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Uh, I might try putting us back into quick play after this. <sighs> this is the same case with uh, our last placements. Our first session didn't go well. <laughs> they have free that wasn't yeah, due to technical like limitations though. That's fair, Dylan. But at the same time, you have no incentive to move to the US either. They, they've got all sorts of uh, stuff going wrong with their um, software-related stuff as well. More than software. Oh yeah, everything, but software as well. I, I just clipped through the floor. That's fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm an Australian. I have 400 ping. I cannot react to a Sombra uncloaking next to me on 200. Oh yeah, no, I couldn't freeze a Sombra. 
that was standing right in front of me. That's how bad I'm doing. I managed to get rid of two of their Zen, so. so. Hmm. You killed someone with the mech drop? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you, nice. it's doable. I know it's doable, you just don't see it happen. And they were being dumb. They were like right in my face. <laughs> oh, we don't have a heal, that's fun. What? What tarnation? Oh yeah, it's mystery heroes. We only get like four different heroes. Oh no. Oh no! That's a mech that's rip. Oh. That that's that's the other struggle in Australia, Dylan. Internet. Yeah, I don't have that problem in New Zealand. Yeah, neither does Dylan. And said for the win. Mm. Okay, so shield bash as Brigida feels instant. That's interesting. Did you connect with it, or were you just using it to get out of spawn? Uh, using it to get out of spawn. Meaning part of it is definitely client side. Which is uh, yeah. how it should be, really. I noticed that when I was using like um concussion mind from junk rat and shit. Like it feels fine, but as soon as you try and connect it to anyone, it's it becomes Oh yeah, no, I I can see the actual delay between um, my shield bash shifting me and then it actually stunning them. There is definitely a time difference. I just clipped through their maze wall, it's fine. Oh I'm sorry, I couldn't heal you in time. Sorry. Right. Sorry, right, we have to talk Right, you guys are saved. I'm here. And I'm mercy. Oh, oh god. Rude. <laughs> Zen really wants me. Oh, we have several healers. Yeah, we had one point where we had no healers, and now. Probably have too many. He has a Dronach skin, obviously he's gonna be good. <laughs> Ooh, bitch! Experience. Leaving! Justice ain't gonna dispense itself. Walk it off. Into the iris. Oh. My business, my rules. So I think we've lost this one. Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah. Why do they keep getting so many Zens? I don't know. Experience not risking it with this ping, I am not risking. I want to stay as Zen, I like Zen, it's fun. Yeah, that's the case of uh, cities in general, Dylan. Damn it. I They're expensive. That and here's the frustrating thing, Dylan. I actually really like being in the city. So I wouldn't mind living closer to the city so that I can visit it more. Because I love the atmosphere, especially late at night. That was one of the things I really enjoyed when I was in Sydney for, um... Uh... What was that insider event? Um... Microsoft Ignite the Tour. I had a lot of fun in Sydney for that.
Oh god, my ping just suddenly spiked. Oh yeah, mine too. I'm at 500. My <laughs> Oh yeah, I just fucked 300 now. But, uh, 463, 479, 480. Yeah, we're this is not how you play Overwatch. Well, if you're Blizzard, this is how you play Overwatch. <laughs> Bitch. Don't know how I managed to kill someone, but I'll take it. Oh good, I'm McCree. This will this will be lovely. Oh yeah. Uh, what did you say your ping was, Panda? Three hundred. Oh okay. So only a bit higher than mine. I'm at three eighty two. <laughs> mine dropped back down to two forty. Is that the only one here that's on good ping? Mine seems to be fine. Also, oh. when I said I was on sixty five before, that was my frame rate. <laughs> I looked at the wrong. Oh. But, like, I'm running normally, like, everything. Oh no, Farah's gonna. Yep. Damn it, I wanted to go solo while the bloody. I didn't kill anyone with that, really? How do I check my bing? <coughs> oh, my bing again? oh, I hit my ult. Uh. If, if you hit. Um. What is it? Control Shift N? Is the yeah. default? Control Shift yeah. N. There's some black text that says thing. PNG. That one will tell you. I'm currently at 398. Oh. I'm at a I don't know how I. Yeah. Still reasonable. I don't know how I didn't yeah. kill anyone with that barrage. Thirty percent of team damage with that ping. All right, we're going back to quick play. We're, uh, it's just going to be that we lose one player every, at least one player every match. Uh, or you yeah, lose me don't. every match. <laughs> I mean, we're about to lose you in thirteen minutes anyway. Yeah, Dylan, that's the case with Melbourne. True. You've got um, the free tram zone in the center of the city. And then the trams do extend out a few suburbs in every direction. Yeah, LA. Um, and the trains go out in every direction as well. Oh my god, I'm the only one that doesn't have a silver border. Oh, I'm actually not far behind Panda! When did this happen? I've been playing a lot of Fallout. Uh, you know what? I downloaded that for the free week and forgot to play it. So that's the thing that I did. I don't know. I don't know what I want to play. So I have Fallout installed. I suppose that's what I'm playing. And Assetto Corsa. I did download that, never launched it once. <laughs> I, I bought Minecraft today. Yeah, I know. Exactly Which one? I, you I don't know, I just bought it. I'm playing the newest release version of it though. The the Java one or the Windows 10 one? Java. You should play on my server. Sure. Why not? I'm gonna figure out how to use Minecraft. Yep. Oh, oh thank Christ, it's finished. It's only <laughs> one hour before I start getting ready in the morning, so that's cool. That's nice. Oh! There you go, it's curious. You just... Here. And then ten minutes. Ten minutes early. Yeah, she hasn't closed the game yet, so that was definitely a timeout. Yeah, for sure. Did they all go around that back way? No, just trace up. She's just a distraction. Oh, 300 ping. Hello. Oh, damn it, I can't seem to be able to build any energy. Oh. The thing that sucks about Minecraft in its current state, though, is that 114 is a buggy mess, especially when it comes to the servers. So I'm still running 113 on my server. Ah, yes, Dylan. Uh, primarily, don't button mash. 
Um, that will do minimal damage. There we go. Kira's just left the group. Oh, okay, that was 300 ping. I have no idea what the hell you Whoa. actually even is, to be honest. Stop the payload. So a new screenshot was posted for Cube World. So apparently the dev is still working on that game. What the hell is Cube World? Uh, it was going to be this awesome uh, cube ba uh, voxel based RPG. Um, never actually released. Turns out the guy's still working on it. Um... Sorry, fucking Arissa, what the fuck?! When was Cube Sorry, World announced? Do I have Cube World installed, actually? I, I'm gonna say I do. Yes, I've got it installed. Cube World was announced in 2013. It still has not been released. We got one alpha build in 2013, and nothing since. We occasionally get screenshots, but that's about it. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. This Hanzo is grinding my gears. At this rate, this is gonna be my last match. Not crashing your servers? <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Not to mention some bumps and bruises. Okay, finished eating. I love this. Stupidly unbalanced teams. Oh, Along I can't with that anything. Game. This feels so bad. Yeah. Ah. This is fucking Overwatch in a nutshell, isn't it, though? Kira says her graphics card crashed. That's what happened. So it wasn't her internet this time. That's true, Dylan. Um, at least it didn't become Yogg Ventures, but like at the same time, I'm actually surprised they're still working on it. And it, and like it was a guy and his wife that were working on it. I think only the guy still posts screenshots. Oh, Sonic Rage quit. Which is fair enough, 300 ping is not a way to play this game. I almost want to launch Cube World and just show that off. Because <laughs> I've got that installed. Let's try one more game, but this is not looking promising. I don't know how the other team was performing so well. I That's don't what I'd know. I'd like to know. I do not know. Traveling to Nepal. Prepare for battle. Because I would literally be like crosshair on them and not hit them. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. Previously, we were on PSE one. Um, which, as far as I knew, was Sydney. This one is Sid 2, which I assume is also Sydney, but this one has 40 ping. <coughs> it's just us, by the way, Wiz. Oh. Oh no. Science will reveal the truth. You're a disgrace to a uh, Panda, what I would recommend is leave the group and rejoin, and hopefully if someone on our team leaves, you'll get thrust back into the match. It's... yeah. It's bad. I'm on 40 ping here. Yeah, me too. This is what it should be. These servers are broken. No, Dylan, go for it. The more I answer, and the more I understand about how this thing is so different for everyone. Because there are things you can do to train yourself to do it, and there was one guy who apparently uh, did some drugs and then was able to visualize things. So... <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Oh no. Yeah. We lost Panda again. The hell is this game? Uh, keep asking questions because I'm going to keep doing the same. Fine. I don't know how people can like learn. Well, that's that's what I'm curious about. And the only reason people know that this is a thing or that the conversation started was in 2005 when one guy um, had some kind of accident and when he uh, awoke, he could no longer visualize things. And so now there's been like a bit of research done on it, but not enough to actually determine what is different like, and me, why. I feel like it's... Yeah. Like, you know people don't know how to smell. Like it's mm -hmm. your body just being like, hey, I don't know how to do this thing, if that makes sense. Yeah. Which is why I'm curious if, if it can be taught. Like, uh, I, I couldn't sit down for, you know, hours and be like, visualize this and actually end up seeing something. Because I was listening to a um, podcast today on eidetic... Is it eidetic memory? That's a fancy word for it. People word for what? Really, really memory. I'm ready to Photographic? Yeah, but they use a different terminology. For it. Anyway, it's just like people saying like they basically train themselves to memorize stuff. Yeah, and, and that's one reason why I need to specifically have something in front of me where I can... It's really not liking you, is it, Panda? Is that the third time it's kicked her out? Uh, it's the fourth time. Uh, Blue Chucks, no. It's, um... The servers are too unstable for even my friends to be able to stay in the group. It would not be worth trying to get someone else in as well. This is a mess. I'm sorry this is happening to you, Panda. Uh, so, Dylan, to answer your question, I could tell you most of the things on the Age of Empires 2 main menu. Um, I could not possibly tell you what the background image was. I mean, there, there was a sign and a building, I think? Um, I can tell you there were six or eight buttons, either on the left or the right. Um, I can tell you the Age of Empires logo is near the top. Past that, I got nothing. I don't have a visual. I don't think it's gonna let me join. I no idea, Dylan. Yeah, no, it's... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Panda. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a rip. You know what I also find interesting about the whole thing is... Like, if I was to say, um... Dylan, I didn't even remember that there was a shield. Picture, like, a guy with a beard. You'd use your memory... ...to be like... I know what I a know beard what looks like. I know yeah, what a yeah, guy like, looks I like. A guy with yeah. I can't tell you, hey, these are the boots he's wearing. He's wearing a tie. Right, that's say, that stuff like, doesn't even. If it's, if it's vague, you have more of an idea than if I was to say, "Hey, can you imagine like this guy with the beard, the blue T-shirt, and." Yeah, but again, I'm not visually seeing anything. I'm just putting pieces together. Yeah, this is what we've been talking about, uh, Panda. Basically, um. Some people can actually visually see things in their mind, and then there are those of us who can't see anything. Like, when people okay. say, imagine this, they literally mean, see it. Yeah. I got nothing. You must and really hate reading, then. I, I read hundreds of books as a teenager, and I've only learned about this thing today, and How I'm still trying- books? I enjoy them for the story, not for- like, I can't, say, visualize the locations or the- the people. It's more about the flow of the words, like, I don't know. 
I, I guess that's maybe one reason why I don't read as much as I used to. Because without that visual... And this, this is something that I brought up earlier. I could read books within days. Like, finish a novel in a couple days as a teenager. But the one book that I could never finish that I read once and I only read a quarter of it in high school was Lord of the Rings. And that was because a lot of the words in that book are of describing locations. To me, that was just a bunch of words that didn't mean anything. And so I really struggled and it took me two weeks to get through a quarter of the book. Whereas normally in that time, I could probably get through four or five other novels. I mean, to be fair, <clears throat> even for people like me who can visualize things, Tolkien is way too wordy. Yes, he's wordy, but for me, like, I literally, that is the only book in the hundreds of books that I read that I could not finish because without those visuals, and now that I know that this is a thing, that people could actually visualize things, it explains why I struggled because I could visualize absolutely none of it. And so, therefore, it was just pages and pages of nonsense. That's kind of crazy to me, that people can't see something. Yeah, that, it, I, it's been the opposite for me all day. Because I definitely have the thing where if I'm reading a book, um, if I get really into it, I'll just like completely forget that I'm in my apartment even. like. Because I, I can't really see it anymore, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. Dylan, I didn't even know there was a guy. It's just you're so immersed in, in it. In mm -hmm. it. Which is why, the moment I learned about this, I was like, I am missing out. <laughs> to me, it sounds like a superpower. <laughs> I mean, it's not, like, extremely vivid or anything. Well, and that's that's the thing that I have been reading. For some people, it's not vivid. For, for other people, it's extremely vivid. Um, there are some people who can literally, say, for example, visualize an apple and place it on the table in front of them. Or a painting on the wall. See, um, that to me sounds like a dream rather than, like, imagination. I, I can do that kind of stuff in dreams. Oh no! I shouldn't have walked back so slow. When I was listening to that video, the person in the video was like, Imagine an apple, what does it look like? What does it feel like? And my brain's like, I don't know, I think it's purple and fluffy. Yeah, Panda, I'll, I'll send you the video that I sent everyone else, um, because the, the video explains it really well. Uh, Dylan, to answer your question, how would I say my memory is? My memory's terrible. Um, and I've always known this. But this kind of explains why. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to bounce. Yep, that's fair. I might jump into Cube World after I've sent uh, Panda this video. It was fun. Um, Hopefully, next time we can actually do some comp. Yeah. Um. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'll I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out for. I'll keep an eye on the uh, Overwatch subreddit to see if people say things are fixed. Okay. Thanks for uh, hanging out, though. All good. See you later. See ya. See ya. So the video I sent has 3 million views. And it was at the top of the um, Aphantasia subreddit. So that's the terminology for not being able to imagine? Yes. Okay. And while that's you watch weird. that video... Yeah. Um, I am going to, uh... Cube World. Let walk around. That's, well, that's what it's going to be titled. Um... Yeah. <laughs> 
Sonic joined the game and then left immediately. <laughs> I actually wonder if, um, oh, yeah, Twitch does recognize the GameCube world. That's a good thing. Yeah, see, I'd completely forgotten there was a shield for the buttons. And for me, those buttons were in, like, I thought I remembered them being in a grid. But this is more accurate to what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Again, no lack of visual, uh, no ability to visualize it, so I've got no... Are you talking about the apple? No, um, the Age of Empires 2 main menu. Um, oh, okay. Dylan asked me to visualize it. Or to, to remember what was on it. And I did very poorly. I'm going to lower this game audio. Sound effects. Yeah, I can definitely picture the stuff that she's like asking. Yeah, that's fair, Dylan. So instead, this is Cube World. Actually, can I... The options are windowed and full screen. And if I alt-tab out of the full screen, stuff gets weird. Okay, good to know. We'll go windowed. Uh, I might have to deal with some work stuff. Fair enough. Did something finally break? Because I think I broke this well, game. Because the database was out of commission for so long, our celery queue is like disgustingly high. Oh, yeah. So I probably have to scale the workers a bit. Okay, my, my middle screen is now completely grey. So that's fun. Oh no. I've killed something. Alright, I'm gonna hop out and fix this and then do the rest of my day and hate my life. Alright, good luck. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Uh, so, Dylan, to me, visual learning... I don't know how I would describe it, and this is one of the problems, or the one of, I guess one of the reasons why this isn't something that gets discussed, because no one knows how to phrase any of it. Um... What I understood to be visual learning before is clearly not visual learning at all. Um, and yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Okay, I need to quickly fix this. Uh, game. Uh, transform, edit, transform. Bounding box, scale two. In a bound. Transform, fit the screen. Yeah. And then, if I... Mm 
then. I used to have this set up perfectly. Um, that's, that's where it gets interesting. Um, memory? I don't know. Because I don't know what the other way of describing something is. Um, okay, I'm thinking human male with, uh, mage. Um, what are we thinking? Green eyes, that's me. And... Maybe? Maybe that one? Uh... So for me, relationships, I don't... In, in terms of bits of code, I don't know. Um, and my hair is more of a... That, I guess? I don't know. Um, Alright, and then we're going to name me. Create. Uh, new world. Seed must be a number. Mm. Pick a number. Someone. A random number, because you guys <laughs> can apparently do more than I can. Um, I don't know. It's just, for me, rather than being visual, it's more logical. And that's the way my dad and brother described it as well. My brother didn't know um, that I couldn't... I, I can... Well, so, yes, that is something that I do struggle with. Um, in the same way that I actually had to talk to Andasama a fair bit to properly understand the concept of header files and um, source files for C. Um, I can't differentiate Model View Controller as much. I do remember experimenting with... Um, oh, I don't even remember what it was called. Some Java PHP thing, I think. Um, some HTML framework? I don't know. Like, I can un- like, yeah, for me, MVC, I've got, I got no idea. And in that same vein, no, it wasn't JavaFX, it was something related to HTML and Java, I think. I don't know, it was some weird Polish thing. I probably have the code some- actually, I wonder if I have the code. Because I don't delete things. And this is the other thing. I struggle with organizing files. Because I can't visualize where they are. And so, when I need to find a file, I struggle. This is why I love um, more advanced search. Um, I love the way search works in uh, Visual Studio Code, for example. Uh, backups. Uh, just in case. I don't even know if that folder is still going to be in here. Startup tools. Documents, maybe? No. I am not seeing what I'm looking for. No, that's, that's the thing. Because I've never experienced it, I still have my learning Angular um, folder. The thing is, I don't know what I can and can't do, so it's fascinating to dig into the mind of someone else. And you'll also notice that all of these things, like saying something like, you know, between a rock and a hard place and all of that, while I can't visualize it, I can understand the concept of being stuck between such things. So, it's not like I'm completely limited by it. And in the same way that people who are on the spectrum tend to be more creative than those who aren't. Um, I'm not creative at all. But... Uh, no, and things like different sorting algorithms, that thing just... 
a lot of a lot of maths especially for me was just overcomplicated. I can't do those equations in my head. I have to literally write them down to be able to complete them. And I always thought that was just me being bad at maths. Turns out And the thing and the thing is, it will take me some time to figure out which parts are because of this and parts of it are just I'm bad. <laughs> Also, I've never heard of the terms block-based programming or node workflows, so I can't answer those questions. Okay, I can't find the folders from... Uh, why do I have a Laravel base? JS? What is this? There's a index.php file in here. And I don't know what this is. Is it in other files? Did I already look in here? I didn't. Okay, never mind. Um, so you never gave me a uh, number, so I'm just going to button mash a number. And we're going to pick a name for this world. Overland. Whatever. Create world. And that's the other thing that, like, um, other examples that my brother provided uh, were, oh, you know, well, how do you visualize things before you build them in Minecraft. There's a reason my houses are holes in caves and um, a cube of wood. I just didn't realize it before. Um, so actually, what I will have to do here is this is going to be interesting. Um, uh, what if I... Okay, so if I do this and then I do this And then I expand out this way. This game does not have borderless windowed. So I'm basically making my own. Okay, so. The really cool thing about this game. Is, um, you can usually zoom out pretty far. And then, this is the map. So... The, uh, based on this map, I know there's a village over here, and there's a dungeon over here, and I can tell that there are a fair few trees up here. So we're actually going to go over uh, northeast, based on these coordinates up here. I'm going to widen this a bit more. There we go. I think there's still a pixel. Foreign concepts to me, Dylan. I got nothing. Interesting that all of these systems still have Cube World listed. What is this? What a. Okay, display. Oh no, hang on, that's an issue with the display. Nope, that is. Um, okay, my, oh, there we go. That's weird. Okay. Oh, so, so block-based programming as in these things? I mean, I've, usually that's done to teach children programming, right? I, I assume there's probably a reason to do it as an adult. Yeah. I mean, there's a Minecraft for education that supports this. Alright. So let's go towards that village. Oh. <laughs> Um, I don't know what the icons mean, but I assume this is a loop of some kind. And I assume also it might be...
Yeah, I I would need to have a lot more backstory than that. Um. Yeah, I can tell that this this is an indicator for a loop. Um. I got nothing. <laughs> So, in this game, uh, you collect things. Um, this is my inventory. I have two gold bracelets. Oh, okay. Wooden wand or staff. I will go with the staff. Uh... I mean, I get that much. <laughs> I don't remember, is there a sprint button in this? Character. Bag. Options. Is there a controls thing? Oh, I remember there were screenshots for what the controls do. Uh. And that is also why... In games like this, I will open the map a hundred times, or... This also explains why I can't really play Skyrim, because the world is so large that I don't even know where to begin, and I can't connect anything for me to go, oh, I'll do this and this and this. I need a map. Oh no, this raccoon's gonna kill me! Go away! No, I don't want to die! Uh... Okay. Oh, he healed up fast. Okay, he is clearly higher level than I am. Oh, yep. I lost. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, at least we spawned closer to the island. So I will accept this. I will... I will take some of these pumpkins. I forget, what can I do with this pumpkin? Alright, they're ingredients. Oh, I just realized I still had that. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, I struggle with that, too. Um, when I was playing with, um, re what is it? Da Vinci Resolve? Yeah, I, I saw that for the color flow. I can kind of get the idea behind it. Um, actually using it is a whole other story. Hello, doggy. How are you doing? Hello, sheep. Look at the sheep. Look at that sheep. Well, there's a reason I'm a front-end developer, not a designer. And it also explains a lot of aspects on that front, too, where I literally cannot visualize a design, and I can't be like, oh, you know, I think it should look like this. And I can't, like, if I'm not visual. That's what it comes down to. Um, so, I forget which of these are houses and which of these are shops. We're just going to walk in. I assume this is a house of some kind. Um. Oh, there's nothing special. Okay. 
Um, I don't think I can set... Oh, can I set interface font size? Wait, what did I click? Did I click the wrong one? The game froze. Uh, language. Oh, step one. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. I am curious if we can. Knowing that I, um... Knowing that I can't visualize, now that I understand that visualization is an actual thing, not just concept, I wonder if I can train myself to do so. In the same way people can train themselves to um, lucid dream. I wonder if it's a similar idea. I, I can think of the word red. That's about as much as I can give you. Like, I've, I've seen red before, so I know what it looks like. But at that stage, I'm pulling from memory rather than visualizing. Like, I'm not recreating anything in my head. I just know red is a thing, which I assume is why it's so much harder for me to describe things as well. Uh, there are some mountains or something up this way. Some cliffs. Um, I am going to collect some of these. Wait, I don't remember. Can I collect these? I have not played this game in forever. But knowing that the guy's still working on it, I, I need to get back into it. You know, I, I don't see red as you put it. I would love to have a parrot pet. Me too, witch. Me too. Hi, cat. Yeah, if you were to tell me to close my eyes and picture red, I could sit there for three hours and just see black. Pretty much. I mean, it's it's one of those things where, again, because I didn't know that it's literally a visual thing, um, again, I was thinking of more the concept of everyone being in their underwear, not actually seeing them in their underwear. And, like, putting it into words, knowing that you see it one way and I don't see it, that is fascinating to me as well. Uh, okay, uh... Okay. I think... I don't remember. Is it the green label that determines that they're easy to fight? Uh, or the red? I guess I'm about to find out, aren't I? I don't have the, uh... Health potions for this. Archangels and welcome to the stream. Hope your day's going well. Um, I don't remember how to craft anything in this game. Oh no! I hit the other chicken too. Okay, so the... the closer to red, the better, or the closer to the red, the worse. I still don't know because they once. <laughs> Again, I can. Yeah, I. Again, it's 
for me, it's more concept rather than visuals. So when someone says, I didn't need that image in my head, I can put together what could happen based on past experience, but I can't visually see that occurring. So I can understand, oh, you know, waking up naked, you know, in the middle of a classroom. Okay, I know what a classroom looks like, right? I've been in one before. I know what um, embarrassment feels like, and I know what someone being naked looks like. So I can put those three pieces together and understand, yeah, that would be uncomfortable. But I don't actually have a visual of a person naked in a classroom. Why that was the first thing that popped into my head, I don't know. Again, I'm not seeing a person naked, so... <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to that town. Uh, I'm gonna have to go around this way. Wait, how did I get here? I'm gonna go through that. You've run so slow. I forgot that was a thing in this game. Okay, so I've got 10 out of 50 experience. <laughs> that is how well I'm doing. Uh, so I need the shopping district. There are little signs on this map. See, like that. Yes. And now that I know that there's actually supposed to be visualization tied to them, it explains a lot. But I think that's part of it, that because my brain doesn't know how to visualize it, it knows enough to fill in the blanks, in the same way that if you're looking at a sentence that's written with blanks where certain words would be, you can piece together what words would be there. I, I would say look at it that way, where it is literally fill in the blanks, using past knowledge rather than fresh ideas and visuals. Man, it's so wet, weird putting this into words. I'm saving money to what? Buy a hang glider. Oh, right, this game has hang gliders. Hang gliders long before Minecraft did. Okay, trade district. What do we have? Spinning wheel. Okay, if I've got iron cubes, what can I make? Uh... Okay, let's make soup. Uh, oh, I need a campfire. Oh, right. I would say very, which I guess more empathetic than those who are not. But I, I guess I would have to put myself somewhere in the middle now if I can't visualize someone being in a situation. Um, 
Okay, so I'm at. I thought I was at the workbench. Am I not at the workbench? No, that's not the workbench. Are you a workbench? You're a loom. Okay, what does the loom look? Oh, okay. So I need heart flowers and water flask. Um, I want to make black potions. I'm gonna, cause I collected some ginseng, right? I've got one. I've got eight pineapple. So I'm gonna find a campfire, and oh no, I have pumpkins, not pineapple. What is it? <laughs> There's nothing special. I see how it is. Again, based on the empathy thing, it's more about the concept of something. Of, for example, living in cages sleeping on a stone floor. Oh yeah, no, I can... So do I. If I'm watching a movie, and a character is doing something so embarrassing, I will turn away. So I can't watch shows like The Office. Because like 90% of that show is people doing embarrassing, dumb things. There is a reason why I don't enjoy um, dumb comedy. Hello, little terrier. Oh, I missed. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't see myself in that situation, but I can underst I, I know I understand the situation enough to be able to put myself in their shoes without a visual. Oh, mushroom. There's the... There's cotton. I can use that for armor, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm the same. I've never been able to watch shows like that. I enjoy Scrubs as a show, but again, that has so many embarrassing things in it, I wouldn't be able to sit down and watch the whole thing. Like a best season, for example. What's another show I started watching and couldn't continue because of that? There's probably one. Or more. Oh no, we don't wanna we don't wanna fight those goblins. Go away, goblins. I know that would end badly for me, so Okay, let's make some soup. I only had the one ginseng. Um I don't know if any pineapples. I now have a heart flower, but I don't have a water flask. To make a water flask, I need water. Yeah, I assumed as much. Oh yeah, another thing that uh, this game has that Minecraft doesn't. Uh, sitting on chairs! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I have been in situations like that. Um, if my parents are watching something that contains embarrassing things, I will literally walk out of the room. Um, even if I've seen that embarrassing scene before, that usually makes it even worse. Because I know how it ends. Or I know what the interaction will be. Again, we're, we're exploring, as it were. Um, so, in this case, one of the NPCs is fighting something somewhere. And the directional audio in this game is non-existent. 
Okay, so I think these chickens are supposed to be very easy to fight. So what I'm going to do... Uh, not what I meant to do. Um, I meant to hit tab so that I'd have the ginseng soup on hand. Okay, so red means harder to fight. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Which then begs the question... How come someone who can't visualize things compared to most people is more empathetic than, those, than some of those who can? Existential questions here uh, on my stream today. Oh, that's right. The ginseng soup requires you to sit down. That's right. What are you? Oh, a great axe. And the thing is, for me, I have, uh, for me asking questions, it it'll be less. It's it's less about asking how do you handle these things or rather confirming so when someone says this you actually see this and obviously the answer for most people is going to be yes whereas for me it, that was never the case mm -hmm. one thing um my friends and I used to do on this because it this game does support multiplayer is these are, so you have the area that you've explored, which is visualized like this. Areas you haven't explored that are blue blocks. Um, and then you have these regions, and each of these regions is basically a different biome. So outside of this section, there'll be another puzzle piece here, essentially. <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, let's see. Uh, then there would be another piece here, or another piece here, and this one could be a winter one, this one could be something else. So this one's more of a... an autumn... area. What are you? Oh, you're a raccoon. No thanks. I should zoom in on this map. That map is useless to me in its current form. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything useful there. Yeah, let's go this way. Um... Half... Half an hour? 45 minutes? At least? Depends on if you're stopping constantly like I am to collect resources and to level up, because I've just launched the game for the first time in forever and had to start a new character. Um, yes. And you can get mounts. So you can get uh, foods that you give to different animals, and then you can ride that animal, which will speed up uh, the process. So, mostly dogs and cats. I think that's... ginseng right there. Ooh, two of them. Three! Sweet. I'll be able to make some more soup. Yeah, that's probably why I sucked at networking, too. Though I enjoy the idea of networking more for... Um, the ability to work with so many more variety of devices. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, how are you doing, by the way, Anthony? It's been a while. Oh god, I have regrets! They're catching up! Help! 
No! They didn't help! That was the opposite! Uh, I'm live on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Periscope, and Steam. I am so dead. I thought those were the good guys! But the top left of stream should uh, occasionally show um, names of the other channels that I'm on. Um, but Wizard CM everywhere. Basically. Are they still following? No? Okay, good. Pretty much. Well, depends, Dylan, because I, I spoke to my dad about it, because he's very good at remembering how to get somewhere. And the way he's learned to do it, because he can't visualize things either. Yes, I am Anthony. Uh, Twitch.tv slash wizardcm. Um, his method for remembering how to get somewhere is remembering the turns. Left turn, right turn, right turn, left turn, and so on and so forth, or how long of a drive between each. Hello, piggy. And I, I guess that's also one of the reasons why I really like the idea of augmented reality and virtual reality. Because I don't have any real life things that are even close to that, because I don't have that ability to mentally visualize things. <laughs> Sorry. I don't have a stream mute button. I just moved the mic out of my face. Wow. And I guess the downside is I have um, my mic set up to automatically <clears throat> to automatically turn the volume down of um, everything else. Uh, no I do not. I do not make any money off Twitch. I don't stream enough. Um, so I can technically be an affiliate, and then I'd be able to make money through, um, through people subscribing, but I don't stream enough for it to be worth it for people to subscribe to me. And on top of that, if I were to accept affiliate, then I wouldn't be able to stream to multiple platforms at once because the agreement states yes. Now, technically that rule also applies to Facebook, but Facebook is a very different audience for me. Facebook is everyone I know in real life. The other services are people I don't know in real life or at least did not meet originally in real life, I guess. I think Facebook says that it has to be 12 hours or something, whereas Twitch is 24 hours of it being unique. I don't like that. I'd assume, as, as far as I know, Twitch has a lower delay anyway. So that that is where I recommend people watch. And if the bitrate um, causes stuttering for you on Twitch, then I recommend YouTube, because that always gives you... Uh, always gives you... Oh, no. Nope, I have regrets. Yeah, no, I... I recognized it. I, I connected the dots, as it were. Um, we're, we're currently talking about, uh, Aphantasia. In, in case you didn't catch most of the conversation. Uh, it's the inability to visualize things in your mind. So there are some people who can, if you tell them, close your eyes and imagine a beach, there are people who can literally see a beach. And then there are, like Dylan, and then there are people like me who have no idea what you're talking about. I know what a beach is. I know what a beach looks like, but I can't actually see one in my head. And that is the thing that I learned today, and it's been blowing my mind for 10 hours straight now. 
and I'm still learning about what I've been missing out on my entire life. <laughs> and there are people who don't know about this even into their 50s. And my dad knew about it to some extent. But obviously the terminology for it isn't common either. So. Uh, I don't see the need in eating. Actually, do I have any? I collected ginseng, right? Did I end up making food? Oh no, uh, I have heart flowers, but I don't have any water. Yeah, well, so my, my, after talking to some people and reading a lot of discussion on it, my assumption is that there are 20 to 30% of people who can't visualize and the rest can, because things like, oh, you know, um, ASMR and, um, meditation and ways to fall asleep, all of those constantly talk about visualizing things. Hmm. Yeah. This, this explains so much in my life that it's like nuts. Out of curiosity, where are you on the, the scale of zero can't see shit and ten you can see a lot? Yes, Dylan. And that is... That is something that... Is very interesting, and how people, even not having the ability to see, can... Like, in my case, piece things together enough to understand. Um, so I'm being chased by, uh... Radish. My concern is I will die faster than this guy will. Well, one thing that I always wanted to experiment with was, um, lucid dreaming. But my assumption now is that because I can't visualize things, then lucid dreaming may be even trickier than I thought. However, what's interesting is I can, if a dream is uncomfortable enough for me, where I feel like I'm going to get attacked by something, or something to that effect. Well, so, that, that is a good point. Um, what I've read is those are separate. So there are some people who can literally smell the water and hear the waves. Um, but those are separate from being able to visually see things. So if you can't see, if you can't hear or smell them, you can still be a 7 or an 8 or a 9. But obviously the combination of them would be incredible. Mm. Okay, so you can you can imagine them visually interesting. My brother who um is going into industrial design, he can visually see things. He said uh a six or a seven, I think, or a seven or an eight. Um my dad is a zero or a one. I am definitely a 0 or a 0 0.5. Especially the more I'm learning about this. The ability to visualize things. Like, literally see them. Foreign concept. And that's one of the reasons, and I told my brother this, uh, the same thing. Um, I can remember what certain sounds sounded like. I can't hear them per se. Yes. Uh, my dad does 3D modeling, uh, but he does it all in CAD and stuff. So obviously he can immediately place down stuff visually instead of doing it in his mind. Yeah, well, so interesting uh, is a video that I found 
is an artist talking about how they're zero on the scale. And so they struggle to draw things, but they are an artist, and that's what they do. Um, so I should... <laughs> so they can struggle to draw things, but they their drawings are actually pretty good. What are you? You're a bush. Uh, yeah, I, I'd assume so. Or in the, uh, Dylan did a very good test on me, where he said, What can you remember of the Age of Empires 2 main menu? In my case, I was completely off base. Whereas he was able to remember even the colour of the shield that you click for multiplayer. In terms of sounds, for me, especially speech is usually more of me saying those things. Occasionally I can get to some semblance of it sounding like another person, and actually in my head, I can do an American accent much better than I can out loud, and part of it, I guess, is I haven't practiced the required tongue and throat movements to be able to make certain sounds um, in a certain way, in a certain order. But again, I can imagine what an American accent sounds like. But to properly replicate it, I need to hear it immediately beforehand. I'm just hoping those witches didn't see me. Oh yeah, and I can have a song stuck in my head. Like, that is a thing I can do. But it's not that I hear every single instrument um, and all of that that's part of the song. I can mostly remember enough of the tune to be able to, or enough of the lyrics to remember what the song is. Oh, someone's fighting over there. Or are they shooting in my direction? Hi, turtle. I'm sorry, but... I need the experience. Holy crap! I forgot turtles work this way! <sighs> that was one experience! <laughs> Yeah, the music stuff is also way over my head. I... I can't get keys right. And the thing is, I used to sing a lot... Um, as a child. I have videos of myself singing. Probably on this computer. Um, this radish... Uh, what is it? Not a radish, uh... Onion. This onion is gonna kill me. Oh no, the onion can jump fences too! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why can the onion jump fences? I don't have time to sit down and heal myself! Okay, he gave up. I have six ginseng. I need to find a campfire and cook my food. <laughs> I, I actually like onions in certain burgers. Like, obviously it has to be caramelized, it can't just be a raw onion. Oh, that's a cool test. I'd never be able to do that, but that's a cool test. Okay, let's make some soup. Uh, where are we? I've basically been going in circles. That's nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, okay. This game does not like being alt tabbed out of. That's what I can tell you. What was climbing that uh, thing over there? Ooh, another, uh, what is it? Heart something? Heart flower. Now I need bottles of water. I mean, this game, this game was released in alpha in 2013, and there have been no new builds since. The only reason I'm playing, literally, and I will pull this up right now. The only reason I launched this game today is this tweet. So you can tell there's been more work done on shadows. I am usually in places I recognize. Actually, probably always. Most, actually, there, there have been a couple when I was younger that were not in places I recognized. Like age 12, 13. I have definitely, um, I've, I've had dreams that occurred in my house, multiple dreams that have occurred in my house. Um, none that have occurred at work. I don't remember when my last, uh, where my last dream was, and that was a couple of days ago. So. And and Dylan, that's partly why I wonder if it's possible to teach yourself to be able to do this. Ha <laughs> Following this, guys, uh, is like rolling a 100-sided die and getting some Cube World tweets if the die lands on 100. That is true. I want to... Yes. I have definitely had dreams at my primary school. Even... I, I had it at least once during high school. Oh, hi! You guys are friendly! In- yes, that would make sense. Um... The extent of my lucid dreaming is if I'm in a situation where I'm being chased, for example, in this dream, then I can imagine... Imagine, again, this, this word that we use so often that didn't mean that much to me. Um, in that situation, I can feel that my eyes are closed and that to get out of the situation, rather than trying to run, which I know will not work, my instinct is to try and open my eyes. Now, at that time, I, t at some level, know that I'm dreaming, but not enough to go to control it. I can do enough to go, I'm dreaming, I need to open my eyes. And to me, it feels like my eyes are closed, but I'm just trying to lift them. Um, and it's more of a muscle rather than here, it's more up here. Uh, up here rather than down here. 
of trying to raise my eyelids. And I can reach a point where I open those eyelids and I leave the dream. Now, in that situation, there have been times where I've opened my eyes into the next dream. So it's not specifically that I woke up, it's that I left that current dream. And then once I'm in the new dream, the whole thing from the previous dream, gone. Yeah, I, I haven't been able to do that. <laughs> As I said, that is the extent of my lucid dreaming. I'm still in the lands of Anlan. That's a horse. That's another raccoon. Mm, I'm gonna go around. What is that over there? Oh, it's a bee. Hello, bee. Oh, you're very high level. It's dangerous. No. No, I wouldn't say I remember my dreams vividly enough to be able to do that, and I definitely can't do it during the dream. So, like, maybe, for example, there was one dream where the dimensions of my parents' bedroom were slightly off? But again, that would have been like 10 years ago, so I don't know if that's true. Actually, there are definitely dimensions that have gone wrong. Okay, yeah, waking up after and being like, that doesn't make sense. Yes, I can do that, because um, in the case of our house, our house is higher up. Um, so, you have a main road. And then our street goes slightly up a hill. But as it goes up a hill, our house is higher up on the hill than the house next to us. So we can see completely into their backyard. Now, it goes into, uh, I guess, intersection, their house, our house. And in the dream, I could see from our kitchen, not just into their backyard, but onto the street on the other side of their house. Which is not something we can physically do IRL. Alright, no worries. Thanks for hanging out. I don't know if um, my notifications are working. So let me quickly check. Oh, I closed that page, didn't I? Of course I did. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'll probably head to bed soon myself anyway. Actually, maybe I should have this open, because then you can see what I'm pressing as I go. Yes, because, and, and that is part of it. Facts I remember, and the hand motions help me keep those facts together in one. in one concise thing where I can go, here is the house. And on top of that, I'm using my hands to demonstrate visually to you because you have no idea what it looks like. But yes, 
I, I use my hands a lot when I'm describing things. And part of it is for the benefit of the person I'm talking to. And the other part of it... Thank you for the follow. Uh, welcome to the order. It did not show up, which I was concerned it wouldn't. Uh, so let's hit that button again and go to my Muxy dashboard and fix that. Um, uh, let's see. In my feed. There we go. Thanks for the follow, welcome to the order. Because usually that appears before the sound plays. Yep, I'm describing facts I remember, and I'm doing so in a way where, because I don't have a visual in my head, I need something to ground the facts. Am I still going? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've really gone in circles. I've definitely been there. And I think, yeah, I was over, I was over here, uh, where was I stuck before? I don't know. Yes. And honestly, a lot of the time, if someone is describing visuals enough, I zone out. Because I don't have those visuals. And my brother was... I don't know if I would have there. Because again, I don't have a visual. I'm... My brain is putting together the facts as... Words. And because, I guess, it probably helped. Um, hi, Tommy. Um, I guess, because I read so many books when I was younger that described things, I was able to develop a way of combining those words together to develop a, gen a more generalized description or, a, or an overall description rather than... You know, colors, because that, that's definitely something I've never been able to do. Because, like, one thing that a lot of people go, yeah. Um, a lot of people go, oh, you know, now that I've read about this, I think I have it. For me, it's, like, initially I was like, oh, what if I do or don't have it, right? How do I tell? But the more I talk about it, and the more I talk about it to people who can visualize, the way... Other people jump to certain details that don't even cross my mind. Like, um, the video I shared, um, let me quickly pull it up. I sent the video to other friends. Uh, Jet specifically went, um, as she was going through it, and I, and was like, imagine an apple, I went, okay, red apple, but as she went through the questions, like, how big, what color, what does it feel like, her brain went to palm-sized purple fluffy apple. For me, that's like going from... Um, these are tissues to they've turned into a bottle. Like, there, there is nothing that connects these two. Where to her, it's still an apple. For me, these are not the same thing. Where for her, she's able to fill in all these details, and in the same way, you are able to fill in details, oh, you know, in a forest, the forest's blurry behind the bird. I keep turning around because alt-tabbing in this game is a bad idea. I need to find a well, I think. I don't remember how to get water in this game. I bet. Uh, I'm still level 1, 19 out of 50 in terms of experience, jeez. 
This is a slow session, isn't it? But that's one thing I really like about this game. There is no purpose. It's like Minecraft. It's just explore. There's no building, at least in this version. I, I think um, one plan was to add building in a future update. But this game is more about exploring and crafting than it is about building. Hi, chickens. It's approaching 6 p.m. in the game. Well, actually, approaching 7 p.m. That's what the 1853 uh, in the corner here says. I might eat. I was going south. Welcome. I unfortunately do not speak Russian. But the strange uh, connection of Russians uh, randomly finding my stream on YouTube specifically continues. Welcome. Oh no! Oh no! Run away! The good news is they don't fly any faster than they walk. Oh, there's ginseng. Hello, can you help me? Are you friendly? No, you're not! Can you have a bow? And Dylan, I guess that's also part of the reason why I... my stream visuals are very simple. Because I literally can't put together the ideas and the visuals to figure out what I would want. And same goes for um, sub badges if I had them. Uh, my name is Matt. Um, actually, that isn't particularly visible on my YouTube channel anywhere, is it? Mm, I should fix that. What's yours? Um, you are ginseng. Okay, I need another campfire. If you see a campfire, let me know. I receive one plant fiber. One plant fiber, two wood logs. Ooh, some ruins. Oh, these are the ones with the skellies, aren't they? I feel like I remember there being skellies. Hello, any skellies? Oh, no, 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 no. No, very high level skellies. <laughs> I recommend not going there. Auroria. <laughs> Ruins of Auroria. <laughs> oh, hello, who are you? Oh, no. No, go away. No! Help! Oh no. So many regrets.
Hello, little piggy. Oh, I can't hurt you. Mmm. Define project. Because the... Ah, okay. So silhouette. Interesting. I might end stream in about ten minutes. Oh. Yeah, no. I mean, I can still do... Like, I... I can do escape rooms. And I've successfully done one already. And mysteries, yeah, I can piece together. But, like, I would need a book or something for me to kind of write down the pieces. They swim faster than I do. And I love the idea of um, combining... The real with the virtual in that sense of taking a slice of history or time in the past and projecting it onto current day. Did you see that HoloLens demo ages ago of the guy with his daughter? Um, where she was literally walking around the room that he was in and basically they had a bunch of sensors around him. Um, uh, around her. So, and then they made the two rooms identical in the sense that they put a chair in the exact same spot in both. So that when she sat down on the chair in real life, it looked like she was sitting on the chair in the... Uh, in the projection in the room that he was actually in. So the only thing being projected was her and not the chair that she was on. Like, that was a cool demo. The only problem with that is you'd need a lot of sensors. There is human fighting shepherd dog. Oh no, I accidentally killed the guy! I was going after the dog! I am sorry. Oh, no. No, I've never heard of that. Occasionally I consider myself uncultured because I don't get so many references that people say, like that one, where I'm like, I recognize those words, not what they mean. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna disconnect here. Oh, I clicked start menu, didn't I? Okay. Uh, let me load up Chrome then. Also, I clicked exit and the game has actually frozen on me. Oh, well, there we go. Um... Yep, so this was... A hollow portation demo. And this was back in... This has 3 million views, 2016. Um... Um... Give the impression that Sergio and I are present in the same portation technology. So... Ah, crap. ...allows us to take these 3D models and composite them in real time into the real world. As you can see here. And that gives you a sense of the fidelity of the reconstructions that we can achieve. Once we have these reconstructions, we can texture them. We can then compress the data and transmit the data over to the other side. Over on the other side, a user wearing a HoloLens can see these remote participants live in their space as if they're co-present.
And that's what we're showing you picture in picture. Now imagine using this type of capture technology to connect with family members who are thousands of miles away. Mm. Somewhere else in our lab. And she's going to holoport into my space and I'm going to interact with her wearing my HoloLens. Hi, Bob, I miss you. Hey, Lily, I miss you too. So you'll notice on that bottom left corner is that there is physically a, um, a chair there in his space. And there's a fi those two chairs exist in her space as well. And so all it's doing is it's going, okay, well, she's got dolls on the chair and she's standing next to the chair. Thanks with her wearing my HoloLens. Hi, Bob, I miss you. Hey, Lily. And so on the bottom left, you can actually see she and what is on the chair are holograms, but yeah, the chair too. isn't. You can only... So there, she's sitting on a chair. Look at that bottom left picture. She's sitting on the chair. Hey, Lilia, you can only... And she's slightly clipping through the chair, which is, you know, the tech at the time wasn't fantastic. But you get the idea, and I love you it. You can hear me, you can't see me, but what are these toys? I have toys, you... To show you, this one is name is Elmo. Elmo. And can... So, like, this is cool tech. So again, three, she's climbing one, on the jump. chair. One, two, three, jump. <laughs> yeah. That's a thing. Anyway, I think I'm going to end it there. I have work in the morning. My cat has already stolen part of my bed. Thanks for joining me for stream. Thanks for this uh, very enlightening discussion. Um, I am going to keep testing to see whether they fix the oceanic servers. Overwatch, so that we can actually do placements. But I wouldn't expect them to fix them this week. Only because it's Blizzard and they're not quick. Actually, let's pull up to... <gasps> Reddit... Uh, Overwatch. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, six hours ago, OC servers have been broken for two plus days with all NZAUS. Players forced to 200 plus uh, ping US based servers. Still no recognition or comment from Blizzard. You'd think they'd have some kind of uh, checks. If you have this problem, don't queue with someone who can connect to Oceanic servers. The player who is connecting to US servers won't be able to join any of your games and will get kicked upon joining. Oof. Blizzard's official comment. Service providers have done small, possibly irrelevant... Oh. Um...
Um, let's pull this up. Place your IP address in the Who Is and website search bar, and the page will tell you. Uh, this page is not in English. <laughs> uh, my IP address is this. I assume that the box that says or oh, Loading RDAP. RDAP web client. Actually, I realized it's a bad idea to show my ping on here. Uh, my, my IP. Yes. I'm remembering the steps, or I'm literally opening OBS to tell them the steps. I mean, I can describe what the tools menu looks like. I can't tell you what is in there by default. And I can't tell you the order of the settings screen for the left side, but I can tell you generals first and advances last. And I think it goes video stream audio? Maybe? But that's not going based on visuals, that's me remembering the words. And remembering how high I click uh, to access each of those. What where am I looking for? Place your uh, and on the right side uh, direct ISP provider. It doesn't say allocated portable. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Yeah. So yeah, most of the time I am opening OBS. Because I know... Oh, yeah. That, that's a big one. Output's a big one. <laughs> um, I could have sworn it went general video stream output. But yeah, I'm not seeing... Like, I've... I wouldn't even say it's an outline, not even that. I can remember what it looks like, but I don't visually see it. I know that's weird. But yeah, most of the time I open OBS because I can remember roughly which settings go where, but if I'm telling someone, hey, if you need a change from um, capture any full screen application to capture a specific one, I can tell them the first drop down change the mode, and the second drop-down, select the game. But I can't tell them exactly what words were there. Like, what the wording is. With full confidence. Anyway. Thanks for the chat. Um, feel free to continue this. Uh, feel free to continue this conversation with me anywhere, either in PM or in my Discord, um, because I'm very fascinated by it. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you next time. And then I will remember which of these buttons changes scenes.